Hey everybody, Coach Toolshed here, and today we got a real quick video. Got to discuss some breaking news that just happened, and this is actually some very big and very interesting news. What happened is, just this has just been announced in the last few hours, is that Activision and Bungie are parting ways, and Bungie will be taking over sole possession of the Destiny IP. They will be in control of that, headed forward entirely, and according to press releases from both sides, both Activision and Bungie, these parties are splitting ways. So, this is a very, very big piece of news when it comes to the overall gaming scene, and it really asks the very interesting question of what is going to happen down the line with Bungie and Destiny. Now, I'm someone who has written off Destiny and Bungie pretty much entirely over the last couple of years because it seemed pretty obvious to me that Destiny was never going to be the franchise that we expected it to be back in 2014. But now, a lot of time has gone by, and the, the hardcore players are still there, but a lot of people have left Destiny and not come back. So, what does this mean now, though? We know Activision and Bungie had been bickering back and forth, and it had been relatively public that they were going back and forth. Activision was not happy with the numbers that Destiny 2 had put up, and Bungie had been saying, no, we're actually totally fine with what's going on. So, is everything going to be fine now? Well, maybe not exactly headed forward, but this is an optimistic sign if you are a fan of Bungie and you wanted to see them break away from Activision, and obviously... This is major news when Activision loses one of its major developers. Like Whether or not you like Destiny, that's besides the point. This is a major moneymaker for Activision, and the fact that Bungie and them are splitting ways pretty much entirely here, I think this just goes to further speak of some of the troubles that Activision is having. Now, I did a video a few weeks ago talking about the general stock market being down and gaming stocks being affected even worse than the general stock market. And Activision and EA are two prime examples of, in, of companies where their stock has dropped precipitously over the past several months. And I had people arguing with me saying, no, these companies are actually totally fine. But from the looks of things now... Well, Activision has had two CFOs leave. They, they dismissed one and the other one resigned just very recently. And now you see one of their, I guess you could call it crown jewel, from their stable of games being removed from them. Now, we don't know who exactly initiated this at this time, but according to intrepid games journalist Jason Schreier, the Bungie employees were celebrating and popping champagne at their offices today when the announcement was made. So apparently Bungie, at least according to Mr. Schreier, thinks that this is a good move for them, so this could be something that they initiated. We don't really know. But either way, this is a blow for Activision losing a major franchise like this. Like I said, whether or not you like Destiny is besides the point. Now, of course, many people will cheer this on and say that this means that Bungie from now on is just going to be creating spectacular games, but we don't really know that yet. The onus really is on them now to prove that the shackles have been put on them by Activision, and that is maybe why Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 weren't exactly living up to fans' expectations for the series. Of course, it's been noted many times, the concept art and the basic storyline and basically pretty much everything we were sold up until the launch of the original Destiny game turned out to just not be true at all, and Bungie seemed to, at one point, have a much broader focus for the game, and the speculation has always been that Activision is the one who sort of hammered them into this release schedule, where they always had to constantly be putting out miniature expansions constantly to fulfill that contractual obligation and so now that that obligation is gone what will Bungie do with this will they be able to re-establish themselves the shine has been taken off the Bungie name ever since Destiny 1 came out and then Destiny 2 I don't think really did too much to help the company and their public image either they once were the golden child of Microsoft back in the Halo days but when Destiny came out and was not what fans expected it to be by and large the shine has totally gone off the Bungie name. Now, will they be able to recapture that? It's possible. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens. I don't know if Bungie is going to remain autonomous here and not hook up with any other publisher, or if they're just going to begin self-publishing their own games. I don't know how that all is going to work out. And anything I say right now 
past what I've already said, it's just going to be rampant speculation. We really don't know what is going to happen in the future, but this is just some breaking news, and this is very major news in my opinion, and so I wanted to get this out to you guys as soon as possible. I actually had plans for a couple of other videos today, including a little bit of a follow-up to yesterday's video because I think a lot of people just didn't really get what I was trying to put across, and so I wanted to clear up some stuff and take on some of the arguments head-to-head -head that I got repeatedly from my video yesterday. So I think we're going to work on that now. I just wanted to get this video up real quick, and I hope you guys have a great day. I'm Coach Toolshed. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I know some people don't care about this game at all. Or is this something where, with the news you see here, is this something where it might renew your interest in Bungie and maybe the Destiny franchise as they head forward? Is this something that's going to pique your interest and maybe see what Bungie has in store? Maybe you've never played before and this might cause you to support it now that it's not under Activision's wing. Now, Activision still is the publisher for this game right now. We don't know when everything's going to transition. They said, both parties have said that they're working on a transition process and it should be seamless, but we don't know exactly how all that's going to work out. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this situation down in the comments below. Please subscribe if you want to stay in tune with the channel headed forward. And as always, keep it turned to 11.